Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, ahlan wa sahlan. If you are a long time viewer, thank you so much for sticking with me all of this time and waiting for me to upload another video. So today I wanted to talk about this black hole, the picture that was taken in outer space with the um, eight different uh, satellites. And it went viral on the news because uh, this was the first picture captured by scientists. And um, when I heard about it, I just initially just talked about it and kept it moving because I am a second generation Muslim. So my parents before me, um, they are Muslim, alhamdulillah. And I was born into Islam. And uh, my children are third generation Muslims. However, when my son came to me today and he was super excited about this first photo ever seen of the black hole, that's when it dawned on me. Some things that I've learned my entire life, I sort of, um, I don't think of it, you know, it's not at the forefront of my mind to explain it to my children. Sometimes they have to ask me uh, about something. So with my son bringing up the topic of this black hole, um, or this event horizon and the, you know the uh, with the bright light around it and everything I stopped to think you know at first I explained it to him and then I stopped to think you know what maybe there are other people out there who don't know or uh, maybe you've forgotten but I was thinking I need to make this video and just make a reminder that as Muslims we actually believe that there are seven layers or seven heavens so these, each of these heavens or each of these layers or these worlds, they have a name and these, uh, what scientists see as a black hole or maybe a portal or something along those lines, it's actually, it's another realm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about it in um, Surah Al-Mulk when, in the first opening lines, when he says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فرجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم رجع البصر كرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير صدق الله العظيم in the name of Allah, the Rahman, the Rahim. Blessed is he in whose hand is dominion, and he is over all things competent. He who created Maut and Hayat to test you as to which of you is best indeed, and he is exalted in might the forgiving. And who created seven heavens in layers you do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency. So return your vision to the sky. Do you see any breaks? Then return your vision twice again. Your vision will return to you humbled while it is fatigued. This is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In my lifetime I've come to learn the names of the seven heavens and the first one is nur e and that is the oneness of light, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was light. He was just, in the beginning, there was just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in Hadith Qudsi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntu kanzan makhfiyan, fa'ahbabtu an arafa fa'khalaqtu l'khalq. I was a hidden treasure and I would have loved to have been known, therefore I created creation. SubhanAllah. So you have the realm in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it was in the beginning, there was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. So you have Nuri Ahdi. That's the first one. Then you have Alame Hahut, 
አለመ ያሁት አለመ ላሁት አለመ ጀብሩት አለመ መለኩት and አለመ ነሱት so that is seven realms right there አለመ ነሱት is this earth this worldly realm that we live in now and every realm has a galaxy and there are billions of planets and billions of life form because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never tires he knows how to keep creating even the fact in the matter that we all as human beings including identical twins we all have our own fingerprints we all have a different set of fingerprints including identical twins because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never tires of creating so here we could use um, snowflakes for example for years everyone knows that no two have the same design and I wanted to just go over this because as a reminder before everyone starts getting like hyper over oh my goodness the black hole we are very grateful that the scientists were able to take a picture and we remember Allah SWT and we in our gratitude to him we thank him for enabling or allowing the scientists to have built such to give them this knowledge to build such structures which can take pictures of what they call a black hole. Um, we are very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to remember him and we are amazed at the fact that he can even bestow this type of knowledge on a scientist for them to learn how to do this. Um, it took them years but it, it happened in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's time. That's what we try to remember. And for something like this, I know that the, the reaction that we give, or in my household anyway, we make turakats, nawakul salat, and shukur salat because we are grateful and in gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for showing us this reminder because the reminder is for the believers. So in order for us to show our gratitude, we make turakats, shukur salat, as a reminder of this is the reality. And everyone is not fortunate enough to behold it with their eye on this Nasuti level or with their physical eye. Some people behold it with their spiritual eye. However, this is a reminder and a reality and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever so kind for allowing us to see it and remember Him. I just wanted to make those few points or reminders because when my son came to me, it dawned on me, you know, the knowledge has to be passed down and Although I learned this because my, my parents learned it from our sheikh and they allowed me or they taught me and I have to pass it down and teach my children. Um, it's not so much that uh, to say that we were the first to know or anything like that. It's more so when we see pictures and things like that we have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about this in Surah Al-Mulk. He told us about this. He talks about the Sabah as samawat all throughout Holy Quran and he also enables or allows the scientists he gives them the wisdom that he gives them and the knowledge that he allows them to obtain because like he says in Surah Rahman which of the favors of your Lord will you deny so he gives us these things he gives us everything that we have including the scientists who take the pictures and allow us to see it if ever we had doubt, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us because he says That is the book in which there is no doubt. This book that was promised to come to the people. So that's just um, the reminder that I was trying to put out today because when my son came to me I realized you know, I hadn't passed him the message on and maybe there's someone out there who can benefit from this as well. Inshallah to barakul ta'ala. I will see you all because I'm actually supposed to be editing another video right now. I'm supposed to be editing and I just stopped to make this real quick because I felt like, you know what, this needs to be done, especially with everyone buzzing about it at this moment. Maybe there's someone out there who could use the reminder. Inshallah, it's about a good time. I will see you all in the next video. Take care until next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.